My name is Chance, and I am 15 years old. For 2022, my family and I lived here in El Sargento for the full year. I have a passion, and believe it or not, it isn't kiteboarding. I love reptiles, and Baja is full of them. So join me for a journey through a year of snakes. In late January, my family and I took a trip to Isla Sorello. We've got a little Isla Sorello whip tail. This is Dave, a beautiful and large Cape gopher snake we found in early March. He was very friendly and one of the nicest snakes I've ever met. Take pictures of a king snake. No, 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 no! Okay, come back there. Oh my gosh, crazy bud. No, 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 no! Oh, you're so beautiful, but you will cooperate. When I first found him, he hissed at me. Okay, huh? Yeah. Little spotted leaf, no snake. Big scary death noodle. Oh my gosh. We just found this baby king snake and he is so ah! <laughs> So sassy. It's alive with toads. <laughs> They're everywhere. Here, I was lucky enough to witness this young coach whip digging in an attempt to catch a burrowed lizard. In mid-October, my dad and I decided to take a two-day camping trip to Isla Cerrado. Here is a Baja California coach whip I found on the first day. 
This was an Isla Saralvo Seder. And that is a beautiful Savage's Sand Snake. And finally, the Holy Grail of Baja Snakes, the Isla Saralvo Longnose Snake. This incredible snake was only the seventh recorded individual ever found. A surprising and incredibly rare miracle. The Isla Sorelva longnose snake in one hand, and the uh, Isla Sorel or the Savage's sand snake in the other. Both Sorelvo endemic snake species.